Hello, hello. I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. The problem reads uh, locate the centroids, uh, centroid of both X and Y of the shaded area. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hidela. So we have been asked to determine the centroid. Before we start solving, let's briefly discuss what centroids are. What is centroid? Centroid basically is centroid is a geometric center. All right. So you can have what is called centroid of a line, a centroid of an area, like in this case, a centroid of a volume. Okay. Right. So that centroid of a line is also called the geometric center of the line. Centroid of a, uh, area, an area is also called the geometric center of an area. And uh, the centroid of a, uh, a volume is also called the geometric center of a volume. So centroid of a line, uh, centroid of an area, and a centroid of volume. Right. When density and acceleration due to gravity is uniform, then you expect centroid to also con coincide. You expect centroid to coincide to coincide with uh, the center of mass and center of gravity okay right so let's dive into the problem quickly so we have been asked to determine or locate the centroid x bar and uh, y bar of the shaded area so uh, what we're going to do is uh, to take a small strip of this particular area and you take it in the x direction like this all right okay there we go we cut a small strip this is very small okay there we go something like this you can think of this as this as a very small rectangle it has a thickness uh, dx let me put it here on top so that it's visible here. Think of this as dx, all right? And then it has the height of y, okay? Been controlled by this function y is equal to x squared, right? And this centroid position in the y direction is going to be equal to this one there will be equal to y cut is going to be equal to y divided by 2. And I centroid position in the x axis. This one is going to be equal to x cut equal to just x. And our da for this small strip going to be equal to the height which is y times the thickness which is dx correct so having done that then we can start now with the x bar x bar we know is going to be equal to so we are equating moments of area and then we make x bar subject to a formula so we are integrating with respect to x therefore our integration constants for the shaded area is from one okay from one to to what to two okay don't forget about that from one to two x cared the a integral from one to two just the a this is the total area right what is our uh, our x cared our x cared we just said is two and what's our da our da is just y da okay uh, y dx sorry Okay, this one here, we are just replacing this here. So we are replacing this there and also replacing this there. Okay, right. 
So divided by integral from 1 to 2 y dx. Alright, let's replace the y. Okay, we know that our function is um, uh, this one here y equal to x squared. So we replace this one there. We also do the replacement there. Okay, and once we do so, then we are going to have this work like so from 1 to 2. Uh, this is y x squared, so x squared and uh, x squared by x, this becomes x cubed dx divided by 1 to 2 just x squared dx. Therefore, our x bar, if we integrate at the top, becomes x to the power 4 divided by 4. Integrating from um, 1 to 2 divided by uh, x cubed divided by 3. Integrating from, or the integration constant from 1 to 2. Great. Okay. So if we fed those particular values, we'll have a 2 to the power 4 uh, divided by 4 minus 1 to the power 4 divided by 4 over 2 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 1 to the power 3 divided by 3. So when we work out this, uh, we have the top. 2 by 4, 2, 2 to 4 is 16, right? 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 16 minus 1 is 15, so we have 15 over 4. Then 8 minus 1, we have a 7 divided by 3. So by 3 over 7, by 3 over 7, this and this goes, this and this goes. Then 15 by 15 minus, I mean 15 times 3 is a 45. And, um, uh, 4 by 7 is a 28. Okay. So this is our x bar. Uh, this is our x bar. So we need to move on to y bar. Mind you, our total area, we don't need to forget integral dA. We found it. It's at the bottom here. And it's just a 7 over 3. Okay. So we don't need to, to redo this one. Right. So let's go to the next part. And the next part is y bar. And y bar is equal to integral of y cared, y cared dA times uh, the total area, which is just integral of dA. So what is our y bar, y cared? Y cared, we said, is just y, y divided by 2. And what's our dA? Our dA is just y dx. So we are integrating along x, which is from 1 to 2. So divided by our total area, which we found as just 7 over 3. Right, so let's concentrate with the top. So integral from 1 to 2, this becomes y squared over 2 uh, dx. Uh, this eventually is equal to um let me use up this space i think so let me bring this here i bring this one there i do this okay since i'm just working on one problem i mean one part i make use of all the space all right so let's just work with uh we are just working with this part now just the top okay so there we go um y squared, we replace our y, y is equal to, y is equal to x squared, so this becomes integral from 1 to 2, x squared to the power 2 becomes x to the power 4, right, we can factor out a half outside in dx, then we can integrate this, and if we did the integration with a half there, um so we have the half like so and uh integration this becomes x to the power five 
divided by 5 that's from 1 to 2 so what do we have we have this equals to equals to this equals to half um, 2 to the power 5 over 5 minus uh, 1 to the one to the power of five which is just one okay right this therefore is going to be equal to this is going to be equal to so two to the power of five two to the power of five is a 30 32 32 minus uh, one is uh, 31 so half divided by five this therefore gives us effect one divided by uh, effect one divided by ten, right? Okay, so this is the top. Let's finish off now. Therefore, our y bar, which is y cared dA divided by dA total area uh, dA. This is going to be equal to uh, 31 divided by 10 uh, divided by our area which is just 7 over 3 okay so if we were to simplify this we can multiply by 3 over 7 at the bottom and we do the same also 3 over 7 this and this cause this and this cause and then we have our y bar which is going to be equal to uh, 31 by 3 that's 93 right and then we have 10 by 7 which is a 70 mm -hmm. so these are in inches right let me indicate there these are in inches so this is inches okay these are in inches close up this part and this is also in inches right so this is about it right this is really about it we've done the integration i mean we found the centroids for the shaded area f bar and y bar and i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video uh give me continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and uh see you in my next uh, screencast